I'd like to show you how to use a rollover image in this lesson with Adobe Captivate 5.5. From the Lesson 5 folder, I've opened the file called Covered Bridges, and I'm actually going to go to slide number 3. You'll see I have some text here that talks about a photo that I have of myself wearing a paper bracelet that I got when I was visiting some of the bridges, along with my regular pearl bracelets. So I want to set it up so that when you hover over this text, it'll show you the image. So the text is already in place. I've just simply put a text caption here, and I've put an indication that I want people to roll over this text to see the photo. Don't want to leave it up to them to find it on their own. I want to make it clear that if you want to see the photo, roll over this text. So I've added that to my text caption. Next, I'm going to go up under the Insert menu and go down to Standard Objects and choose Rollover Image. Captivate is going to prompt me to tell it exactly where I want to find that photo. I'm in the Lesson 5 folder in the Images folder, and I'm choosing an image called Bracelets. I'm going to click Open, use my Shift key to scale it down a bit, and you'll see that now I have two separate pieces. I have my image and I have a rollover area. So I'm going to drag this rollover area right up over top of my text. Now I really don't want it to be covering up this text at all, so over in my Fill and Stroke, I'm going to set my Fill to zero and take off the stroke so that it's completely transparent, and then I'm going to move my image into place wherever I want it to appear. Now I've got my text set to display for the rest of the slide, and my rollover area is doing the same thing. So let's go ahead and preview it and see what we get. So now when I roll over that text, the image shows. And that's what a rollover image is. It's a very nice feature of working with Captivate if you want to show things. Perhaps your slide is a little crowded and you don't want to have all of those things open at once. Or for whatever reason, you might want to just allow people to roll over something, text or an image, and have another image pop up. That's called a rollover image in Adobe Captivate 5.5.